The battle cruiser is built in a series of loops. Essentially, the battle cruiser is just a really long cylinder with some extensions on the side. This would be one loop, and then the battle cruiser is made of a lot of loops interlocked into each other. So now you have a two layer loop, which is a lot of what the battle cruiser is made out of. The body is actually four layers. Put on, show you the next layer. So it's putting back those two on. Here's the back of that if you want to see. And then this is the inside of the next layer. Okay, so stick that back together. Ends are going to be really chaotic, just so you know. It's a little tricky doing that. So ideally, you should build this all at once. I'm building essentially a large tube from top down, and then that's what the battle cruiser is. So you can see that this is one loop on the inside, and then there's another distorted loop on the edge. So what you do to make it turn into this, try to find a midpoint, and just, just push it down, and yay! This part that goes on the front, you can see it's just four solid rings, just for structure, really. Yeah. You line everything up. So you have this body. This is a the neck. There's a little bit of variation here. It just gets a little larger tapers out to this size. Okay, so you have the neck here, and then you want to stick it on. Head here, and then you s stick that on also. It just goes right here. So this is a ring of 25, three high, and then these are all rings of six. Just squish it on, but not too much. And you just keep going. So the bottom part ends up looking like that. The top part should look still like rings. Um, just fill in the holes. I think filling in the holes helps prevent them from collapsing after you mount it. And then this ring of seven, you just align it on this bottom part. You want it to align with the center magnet. So you just align that and just push it down. Yeah, if you cut it off, you can just remount your ship. For the engine in the front, you just make one of these two-layer hexagons with an extra ring of 12 on the front. And all you do is just um, stick it on. You put two mags on top, and then you put another two magnets on top. Engines made with five high cylinders of 11 magnets. Just make it work by sticking these together. And then you take these four high cylinders and just pop them near the edge. So you just stick this on, make sure there's um, room on the bottom and sides. Attach one ring at a time. Like that. Cylinders of four are really unstable, so try to keep the ends away from those. So once you've finished, take off three magnets, and then take off another two on a layer right underneath that. It's pretty simple. You just have these two. This is two-layer hexagon with extra ring. So to stick it on, you just stick this first engine pod and just roll it down to about here. Stick this one on. And then a row of three and then four. And do this a few times. So you have five total and it's just kind of a box that goes on top of the ship. This is just a ring of 12, and that just kind of goes on the side. Stick it there. So this part's the angled discs on the wings of the ship. 
you start by making just your normal everyday Zen hexagon. And then you put a ring of six in the middle. Then you surround a thing like so. Flip it upside down, get five. The orientations are really tricky to remember here. Then it's followed by two here. But put that there, and then you finish up with three here. You have this part, and you just stick it on. Yeah, it does. No, no, it took me a while to get it right. You just stick it on, and if it doesn't look right, take it off, and probably have to rebuild it. The wing tips here are done by cylinder of six. Then you pinch it. And then for the one at the bottom, pinch it the other way. So you have those two. Get all the sides done. Add bits to make it more angled. Missed a few. And therefore more interesting. You just you just add details. Punch off a ring of three and place it there. And then you just keep on putting them on every other row. Can't put on every row, every other to maintain the design. And then you'll remove two magnets from the side. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, you remove two. Yeah, it, it is kind of tricky. You can see they're collapsing around. You have to keep them in line. And just continue this on both sides down the entire neck here. The front of the Yamato cannon is a ring of 12, double layered, stuck onto the front here. The two little, I don't even know what they are at the bottom, are just rings of 5. So stuck on like that. So now you should have your completed battle cruiser. It might not look exactly the same way mine does, but should be pretty close.